I think rivalries are something that have always existed, always existed in sport, specifically archery. It's strange because a lot of times our tournaments are straight score tournaments where you're competing against an entire field of people. Match play brings about the potential for rivalries, yes. Chris Schaff, Jimmy Lutz, Mike Schlosser, Dave Cousins, Rio Wild. Friends like Chris, uh, we uh, like shoot a lot against each other and uh, used to be like Stefan as well. So, like I think in general, like just competing against each other, it eventually becomes a rivalry. When you're training, you're able to say, okay, this is a situation where they wouldn't miss. I need to get to the level where I won't miss either. I think his mental approach is, is bar none one of the best out here. He's very comfortable with himself, his ability, and his performances. Like he's been on the top for like many, many, many years. So like, even though like maybe it has kind of a conventional uh, way of shooting sometimes, like it still, it works for him and he found something that works for himself. It's time for the gold medal match here at the 2019 Hyundai Archery World Cup Final. I think like, uh, like the World Cup Final is something really special. It's uh, like probably the biggest tournament of, of that year. You need to give a lot uh, to be a, a top archer and uh, sometimes uh, those like, wins kind of make everything worth it. Yes, anytime you shoot against Mike, you need a good score to win. And I assume that other people probably feel the same when they shoot against me as well. And whenever I go against Mike, it's, it's basically a match of who blinks first. And then the other guy doesn't let up. And a perfect score from Braden Gelantine as well. Uh, the battle in archery is out of doubt. And it's something like it, a lot of people have in daily life. Uh, I had a while that I didn't enjoy finals because it was afraid for what was going to happen so I, I, I changed my mindset and just uh, try your best and make the most out of it and enjoy it. Since I've been doing that my finals are getting quite drastically better than what they were. Well the first drop point from Braden Gelantine, the second arrow. I shot amazing, I had a hiccup in the finals, Mike took advantage, he smelled blood and he never let up. Another perfect score. Well, you can see my performance there versus in Guatemala earlier this year. I was able to keep pace with Mike during the early ends and, and get that advantage. And once someone's behind in a match or tied in a match, you see those thoughts of doubt creep into their head. The demons say, well, what if you miss? Your logical mind starts an argument with it where it's like, well, we don't miss, that's not what we do. It's, it's a sprint, a 15 arrow sprint. It's what, one sixth, one seventh of a qualification round. So those who are able to come out to a fast start tend to win because they get that edge early and they get the other person doubting themselves. But Mike Schlusser just needs a six to take the time. Shooting really good until like my last arrow, I kind of flopped it around a bit. But I was generally really happy that I won there. Uh, I used to have a lot of like some bad arrows and I moved up from some bad arrows into the final to just make like a bad last shot. You would get a lot of hate from people because I shot an eight, for example, to win the match. And, uh, and then I went to the next final, I don't shoot an eight because then you get the hate, you know? And then of course what you're gonna do, shoot an eight, you know? And how did you get out of that? Uh, deleting Facebook. <laughs> I, I believe I have an edge in my form and my technique and my mental game. I'm sure that there are others that rival me in, in each individual capacity, but I wouldn't be here if I didn't believe I was the best. I see myself like I was one of the most consistent ones that uh, that made it there. Like I've made like podium on all the tournaments, so I think that uh, yeah, that makes myself kind of favorite role. But I think it's going to be like a snap of like the moment who's going to be the best at that moment. It's like it's a very short 15 arrows, and like just one mistake can cost you the victory.